it's Angie. Happy spring. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I am almost 17 weeks pregnant, so I thought it was high time that I actually did a vlog chat about my first trimester with you guys. Um, I, 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 whenever I was trying to conceive, I absolutely loved watching um, these types of videos. So I'm going to try to structure them the same way every time I do them. And I don't know how often I'm going to do them. It's really going to be on how I'm feeling, if I really want to talk about it, because a lot of stuff doesn't change, but there are some milestones, of course. So I'm going to try to just go over symptoms, cravings, how my body's changed, things that have changed, that type of stuff. If you want to know how I found out I was pregnant, all that good stuff, I'm going to link a video below and talk about my TTC or trying to conceive story. I'll link that video below. Um, but my husband and I found out a few days before Christmas that I was pregnant and expecting. Due August 31st is my official due date. Mom's already saying I'll probably be late because she was late with my sister and I. It's gonna be, I've also heard that it's going to be like the hottest summer on record. Some guy at Dunkin Donuts told me that yesterday. That did not make me happy. <laughs> great I'll be huge and pregnant Whatever, and it's fine. Um, found out I was pregnant and um, life went on normal you know I didn't really feel much different the only thing during my two-week wait whenever I um, was waiting to find out I was you know pregnant the only symptom I really had was I, I was out of breath walking up the staircase and I had actually read that and heard that from other women that that was a symptom that you could be pregnant and it was for me so if you're you know trying to conceive and you're thinking you could be pregnant, that was certainly a huge um, factor for me. So my symptoms during my first trimester um, were, were pretty, pretty tame, to be honest with you. I did not have any vomiting. I had a teens bit of nausea, nothing compared to what women I've heard of talking about it. You know, they've had a, like, one of my girlfriends told me she had to drive to work with a bucket in her car and um, nothing like that. I did not actually get sick once. Um, a little bit of TMI right now, but I did have some problems actually going to the bathroom for a few weeks and that was not fun. That was not fun at all. Um, so that was probably a little bit later, probably in my probably my 10th to 13th, 14th week of pregnancy. Symptoms that I had, I had really terrible acne and I still have remnants of it. And there's a video of me applying foundation, I'll link that below as well, where you can see how bad my foundation is. Of course, I didn't tell you guys at that point that I was pregnant, but I certainly was. And you could certainly tell with all my acne. I did have a really wicked sense of smell for about three weeks. That was early on where I could smell everything that is dissipated and I really don't smell stuff as much because it's everything's pretty much normal now cravings that I had um, or and, and are having um, I've always been a huge sucker for sweet stuff and when I say sweet stuff I mean like jelly beans total crap candy so I have definitely been craving that kind of stuff and I have been craving hot stuff hot sauce crushed red pepper I took crushed red pepper and put it all over my pasta the one night at dinner Pizza has to be hot. Everything has to be hot. So that's the only other craving that I've really been having. I mean, I'll make anything hot. Like I know I'm going to have a, probably a turkey burger later. And I'll probably put hot sauce all over it. That's another huge craving. Other than that, I, I really haven't been craving anything too crazy. That's really it. I know, kind of boring. Uh, so what are some changes maybe in my body? Um, I'm not able to fit into most of my pants anymore. Um, first, I went up and I just bought a few pairs of pants in a larger size. I thought that'd probably be a good idea. So because ideally, you know, although I would love to say I'm going to be back in my pre-pregnancy weight right after baby comes, it's probably not realistic for me and for my body type. So I did buy um, a size up and, and then I also have ha been buying some maternity stuff. And I've also just been, you know, wearing looser tops. A lot of the maternity stuff that I've seen, I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm going to really try to make this work. I know at the very end, I'm going to have to wear maternity stuff. It is what it is. You know, I get it. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try to milk it for all it's worth. Buy larger tops, you know, belts, make things work. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do for, for the beginning. And a, any milestones that I've been through. Um, obviously hit the 12 week mark. That was huge and I was really excited. I have not felt baby um, kick or anything like that yet. And I do find out the sex of the baby in mid-April. And I will be finding out. And I'll probably, I'll probably be filming it. We are going to do like a little gender reveal with my family. So um, 
people are asking, what do you think? Do you think it's a boy or a girl? Early on, I thought it was a boy, but my mother thinks I am carrying high, which I guess that's a sign that it could be a girl. So, um, I don't know. I, you know, I, of course, like everyone says, I want a healthy baby. Um, I think I would have a lot, a lot more, I'd be able to relate a lot more to a little girl, but I think a little boy would be awesome. It'd be so much of a challenge and so much fun. I think a baby regardless is going to be a challenge, but, um, I don't really know anything about little boys. Although we do have, we've been talking about names, but I think we're going to be that couple that doesn't really know until we see the baby, to be completely honest with you too. So those are, that's basically my first trimester roundup. As of tomorrow, baby will be the size of a pepper. And um, in relationship to that, I've gained about 10 pounds so far. And I'm, what, 17 weeks. So if I can, you know, try to gain, if, basically I'm supposed to gain between 15 and 25 pounds during my pregnancy. So I think I'm in a good, good place right now. I'm not trying to really think about that too much. Um, I do try to eat very healthy during my pregnancy other than the jelly beans that I had. Um, and I do crave candy really bad. So I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're pregnant or, you know, or interested in my TTC story, uh, please make sure you watch that below. Please subscribe. And I'm probably definitely going to do another video right after I find, the sex, find out the uh, sex of the baby. So that'll be probably about three weeks away. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll be back soon with another one.